Do you remember the day you became famous? <laughs> the band? In my mind? <laughs> oh, you know, the day I had an inkling that things were happening was probably sitting on the stage late night with David Latterman. It was a place where I said, oh, wait, we're being beamed into the living rooms of millions of people with our little song, Hold My Hand. This is, and I was nervy. I saw the red lights saying record coming on. And I was, and I talk about this in the book to be sitting on that stage where the Beatles sat in the, the year of my birth, 1964 was like stupendous. And I sensed like, this is, this could take us to a place we've never, ever gone. Um, and it did. That was the, that was the turn where uh, you go from playing clubs and theaters to millions of homes. You, you can't deny, as uh, you like to say, you can't deny us. Uh, and it worked. They liked the song. Radio stations played it. People supported us. We did great videos. Thank you, Dan. And yeah, and, and Sony Road, hold my hand, just to let everybody know. I mean, you, you did change the lives of those guys. And without that song, I don't, there might be Hootie and the Blowfish, but there wouldn't be Hootie and the Blowfish worldwide. <laughs> it's always, it's always good to come into a audition for a band with something in your back pocket. I'm not going to arrive empty handed. So I had been writing songs for a few years, none of it worth anything. I, I was the king of writing songs that weren't great, that weren't working, that weren't catchy until one day it was with three chords. And yeah, I arrived to my audition with the band uh, sort of, here's this, here's this tune. What do you guys think? Meekly, I wasn't trying to play them, but I honestly hadn't played it for anybody else. So I didn't know if it was uh, going to be a great song. And they, they looked at each other like, okay, you can stay. 